What's up, everybody? I hope you're having a good day. We're having a very good day because it is new t-shirt day. There's no one here. I'm alone. See, we like to drive, you like to drive, but sometimes we drive a little too fast, and that means we're going to meet one of America's fine law enforcement vehicles. But there's a bunch of them. How do you keep track? Well, we've made a shirt that basically shows the species of cop cars. Remember those posters on the wall when you were a kid of dinosaurs and birds and peregrine falcons? It's like that. We call it predators of American highways, because if you speed and break the law, you get chased and you become the prey and you get a ticket. And before you get all upset and you get triggered and you start getting real mad on the internet about us using the word predator, just relax. It's a joke. Remember jokes? Remember jokes before the internet criticized everything you said? Okay? It's a joke. And we've shown it to cops, CHP officers, friends, family, enthusiasts. Everybody thinks it's funny and they know what it's about. So just relax, okay? Now we've got these awesome stencil drawings with Latin-ish type names below them. Help you keep track of what you're seeing. Cars like the uh, Hauntus Mirorius, you know, the thing you see in all of your rearview mirror nightmares. Got the toughest Aperium. Then there's the Officerus Obscurus, which is the Chevy Caprice. Basically the automotive version of a king snake and a coral snake. And then finally, the investigator citationus. Now we're selling them in three colors. The fabric's really, really soft and the fit is very good. Uh, just for reference, this is a large, and I am 5'10", about 170 pounds. Um, if you're European, this would be considered a quad XL, okay? They're only going to be on sale for two weeks, from July 25th to August 8th. So, hit the link in the description, go to our Teespring store, and help support the people that make the content you enjoy for free, okay? Once again, only on sale for two weeks, from July 25th to August 8th. Three colors, funny shirts, we're stoked about them, help support us. Thank you for watching. What's up, fools? Welcome to the canyons. Uh, my boy Spike Farishton uh, in the new 911 Carrera T with me here. Uh, what's up, buddy? I'm good, man. Thanks for getting up early in the morning in this heat wave. Yeah, it's and hot. Bringing me to the Breaking Bad desert. <laughs> Four yeah. in the morning. Yeah, this is when you have to drive, though, <laughs> if you want to, you know, drive. So this is the new Carrera T. Spike is here because uh, he's not only my friend and a Porsche enthusiast. He brought out the 911 GT3 T. Mm -hmm. So we've got the two different touring packages here, and we're gonna have a go in both. Uh, this is the new one, Carrera T. So it's based on the regular Carrera. I have some notes because you get a lot of things, right? 370 horsepower, 331 torque. That's regular Carrera engine from the twin turbo three liter mm -hmm. six it's 3142 pounds pretty light although we suspect the gt3 is lighter but we can't remember the numbers uh and then uh so here's what you get it's uh less soundproofing lightweight glass optional rear seat delete this has a rear seat if you get the bucket seats which these are not you're missing these things you don't have you there's there's that's light doors i was getting to fabric, that light fabric door fabric rooms. door pulls. come on that's yeah. what it's all about uh these are cloth seats we're sitting on which are great i always get those standard sport exhaust uh pasm and porsche torque vectoring with limited slip standard 20 inch carrera s wheels with uh, pirelli corsa tires and a short shifter for the seven speed manual gearbox plus an extra gear and seven <laughs> speeds wow. instead of the GT3 six seven. speeds. Yeah. So um, this car is 102,000 base. This one has optional rear steer and optional ceramic brakes. It's 112,000. As I will demonstrate, I would skip the ceramic brakes, but we're gonna have a go real quick. Don't put skip her, ceramics. Put it in you sport. Never skip ceramic. And we'll do sport and then sport plus. Rear steer, very tight turning radius coming out of the uh, thing. Spike, let's go. that engined burble, right? They put the burble in it now. It's not that loud though, is it? No, but it's, it's a brand new sound. As Porsche does, they slice the cheese very thin. And here we are, I hear turbos, but I also hear a GT car, which is really neat. I haven't heard this before. It's got a good high-pitched uh, sound. Uh, unlike the 718 GTS I was driving, the slickness of the, the six cylinders still there. Red line is 7,400, 
and you've got this super wide torque band that goes all the way from 2000 just shy of the red line. You realize if we crash, there's no phone signal up here. We're not crashing. <laughs> This road is, is, a, is a beautiful, one of my favorite roads up here. But this is an Angeles Crest. Where no, is this? this is not. This is Upper Big Tahansa. It's beautiful. There's no one here. There's nobody here. What I like about these Porsche turbo motors is they haven't given up at the top end, you know? They don't, they don't die the way the hatchback turbo motors do. And uh, this is the seven speed gearbox instead of your GT3, which gets the six. Right. Six is better than seven when it comes to gears. It just is. Well, what, what is that seventh gear for? It's, for? it's for fuel economy. So here, I'll show you when we have when we have some room, I'll show you what it's like to be in seventh. Well, I would imagine I've been in seventh <laughs> gear before. <laughs> have you ever been in seventh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, normally this is here. Here's fourth. Okay, yeah. Fifth. Yeah. Sixth. And then seventh. Yeah. So now we're at 2,000 RPM. It's low. And then to come back down, it's it's weird to go down to there, seven, six, five, four. That's a little strange. Well, when you're in the canyons, you don't need anything no. above third gear. No, it really Never. is an extra gear. Yeah. And now I'm in fifth. But um, but the good news about it is there's a lockout, so you can only get into seventh from sixth. That's that's nice. Light and lively it and does. agile. There's a lot of feedback from the road I can feel from this passenger seat. And oh, by the way, and there are your ceramic brakes. There's your ceramic brakes. That's why you need ceramic brakes. Well, up stopping here, power. Up here, they're really good. In the city, they're grabby. Really? Yeah, they're grabby. Oh, no. I've been yeah. trying to tell Matt that the pre-owned market for Porsche, the first thing we look for is the ceramic brakes. So. Always get the ceramic brakes. I've said before that you get 50% of your money back on ceramic brakes when you sell the you car. Do. But I feel like this thing only has 370 horsepower. Like, it's fast, but it's not, like, that fast. I don't think the extra 7500 bucks for ceramics is justified. That's just my taste, but it's an option. Except that it's a GT car. It's a special car. It's not a GT car. It's a but T it's, car. But it's like that GT car. It's for the guy who can't afford it. Right? Yeah. The guy who can't afford the GT3, GT2 RS, the GT3 RS. Now you've got something, the, the lower end of the food chain, that is special. Totally. This is I a agree special car. I agree with you. I just don't think... So put some special brakes on it. I don't think at, at this power level, at this dollar level, 100,000, 102 grand, you know, an additional 7.5% for ceramics yeah, right. is well, a necessary... Yeah, you don't absolutely necessarily need No. And I'll tell you what else. Rear steer I would get, though. It's great. Which is you're what gonna you go have here. Yeah, you're going to go around the turns a lot faster. I, it doesn't come with a lift kit, I'm guessing. You don't need no, it, right? Because no it's up higher. No, it's optional, but this one doesn't have it, and I don't think you need it. Right. How nice is this, though? So smooth, fluid. It's fun. No, this car is super fun. I it rides really well. I yeah. can fit my big Pelican case in the front of it, which is a uh, key. And you've got rear seats. Mm -hmm. Unlike my GT3 Touring, you can put three other people in here. Which I think is laughable, but you actually do put your kids in the car, right? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I shouldn't tell you this. I put my wife in the back of the GT3 <laughs> the other day. Really? How did she, she is quite petite, <laughs> but how did she enjoy it? We had to pick up my son, and I said, well, there are only two seats here. And she goes, that's all right. I'll sit in the back. And I go, honey, read that sticker cause death in an accident. <laughs> she goes, I'll be fine. We we're only driving a half mile, and I thought, well, if I'm going to lose somebody, it might as well be the wife. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm here all week. week. <laughs> I'm here the rest of this week. <laughs> don't ever do that. You don't ever want to put anybody except for your wife in the back of a GT3. He's over there telling stories. I'm having a really good time driving this car. <laughs> I think this thing is really, really sweet. This, our turnaround is up here, and I'm going to oh. let Spike and Stein yeah, have yeah, a yeah. go. The short shifter is a good, a good touch. It feels nice and uh, crisp. Pretty much the same shifter you get with the GT3, just with the extra gear. Can't wait to feel it. Except I'm hearing turbo all over the place.
place. You do hear turbo. I'm hearing yeah. turbo, and that's another big difference. Not that you can really compare these two cars. Well, no, but what's interesting is compared to the quote 911 turbo, yeah. which sounds like a you know nuclear vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. You know this, you hear more growl plus the turbo. You know what I mean? You right. get both. You get the growl and the turbo, whereas it's not just that whooshing. All right, Spike. Would you like to drive the T? You own a 997 GT3 RS, owned. Yes. You have a 991 GT3. Yes. And now a 991.5 GT3. Your opinions are extremely valuable. You drive. All right, let's do it. How far does Spike have to adjust his seat? Here's one thing I love already. I'm manual. adjusting the seat manually. Right. I like here. a manual slider. Frame. Well, you those are. are all things that tell me there's weight loss in the car, that we've taken a lot of weight out of the car. We're not going to put a lot of these fancy little switches to adjust your seats. There's not nothing I hate more than 18-way seats. What there's, kind of seats do you have in your GT3 Spike? I, I don't know. I think they're 18-way seats. I think seats. they're 18-way <laughs> seats. But you know why? That's because of Zuckerman. Uh, uh, I always Zuckerman. get sport buckets. He always can't. get the super sport seats, Spike. Zuckerman can't fit in the sport buckets. <laughs> <laughs> they is the ugly truth. All right. But I will tell you, the GT3T is a touring car, so the touring seats kind of make sense in that car. The, the GT3T's seats are not entirely different from this. The ass from cushion like is this, a little yeah. different, but they're pretty similar. Show me what you got, buddy. Clear on the right. Clear on the left. There we go. I'm not, I'm, it's not often I'm a passenger in my own videos. <laughs> Holla at your boy. So, compared to your GT3, what, what well, are you already, feeling? I'm noticing a couple things. This car feels lighter than my GT3. They've engineered the lightness into the car. Which and we it, don't think it actually is, but we think it just feels that way. Yeah, I know the GT3 is about an inch longer and a, almost an inch wider. This car also feels a lot higher than my GT3. Here's your Look at right you on that rev limiter. Right there. No, shift? Why shift? Just leave it in I third. like third gear here in the canyons. It's my favorite gear to go around. You have 1,800 less horsepower, in, or, I'm sorry, 1,800 less RPM uh, in this car than you do in your GT3. So third is not going to last you quite as long. Now the front end does not stick as much as in this car, for sure. So this car is, for me, is a little nutty. It's acted a little nutty on the road. It doesn't have that planted feel of the GT3 that I like. Well, by all means, go faster then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to drive fast. Well, it you're doesn't. Afraid. No, I'm fine. It uh, it has narrower tires than the GT3, and the compound itself is not as sticky as the GT3. But so it's that, fun. That but I mean, I can't see. This is what I love about Porsche. Why they made this car? That this car is at the front of the line of cars. It's a special car. It like feels the front of the lines of cars that you would like to own from just, Porsche, even though it's not there. If you can't afford expensive. the big dog stuff or your yeah. dealership is telling you you can't get one, you get one of these and you've got something special. And from the moment you get in with the fabric door poles, the little manual seat, the, the manual gearbox, it all feels special. Yeah, less sound deadening is always good. And less money. Yeah. I don't know why everybody well, here's the, get this car. Here, well, here's the argument against, right? The argument against is that most people, yeah. meaning not the hardcore, you know, Porsche enthusiasts like us, would find the extra 50 horsepower of the Carrera S a more useful way to spend their money. It's all about lighter feeling and lighter weight in a Porsche. What do I have banging around That's back my there? cameras. Hang oh on a second. God, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ow, ow, ow. Hate that. You're like my wife, man. Putting stuff I everywhere. Didn't, I didn't prepare for your G forces, Mike. <laughs> oh Jesus! This is this is not good. Oh God! They're gonna find us in a bad way. <laughs> All right. I think we've solved that problem. Sorry, folks. Oh wow. And again, the sound. Yeah. Listen to that beautiful sound. I gotta be honest. I could use more. I feel like I wish this was the car's quiet mode and loud got a little louder. Like. I haven't heard any aftermarket exhausts yet for these cars, but like, I could definitely use a little more volume from the exhaust wow. specifically. Brakes! Oh, those are good. Yeah. That's good. Wow. That's why we like ceramics. I mean, it's good when 
assume you're driving hard. I just think that at you this think price, they grab too much. I think they're grabby in the city, and I think that at this price point, it's a lot of extra cashish. You know, let me tell you something. The reason we used to get the ceramics a lot for driving the city is because they didn't squeak, right? Yeah, you never heard that wheel squeak. Yeah, the steels did that, not the ceramics. Now, and you just heard it in my new GT3. Yeah, it's in my 2015 too. Depending on the, how much water is in the air, yeah. or how hard I'm driving them, yeah. there's lots of squeaking. For and me, you, pull up a... the, you pull up the stoplights and you, you hear this big squeak, and there's nothing they can do about it at the dealership. Yeah, and the uh, the one thing you can do about it actually is wash the car. Yeah, um, I've washing read that. the dust out of it makes a big difference. I've tried that. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> I get on the brakes. It works for me. I, I push on the throttle with the brake depressed, and it does it for a little while, but it always comes back. <laughs> anyway, I, I don't mind. These are race car problems, and no one wants to hear us complain about owning. I, here's the, here's what I think is interesting. This car, compared to your GT3, the interior is fundamentally identical. Yes. The seats feel the same. The yeah. steering wheel's the same. It has this. Actually, your car doesn't even have. Have the fabric door pulls. No, your car doesn't. has the metal door pulls. That's right. And this has the fabric ones. Like I got in his GT3, and then and, you know, obviously without before I drove it, and I went, oh, the experience of sitting in this car is fundamentally exactly the same. <laughs> That's because Zuckerman doesn't know how to use the fabric door pulls either. <laughs> it's big. Oh, he doesn't know heads. how to use the three seashells. <laughs> <laughs> he can <laughs> barely drive. He doesn't know how to use the fabric door pulls. <laughs> This why car is why super you and Maddie gonna gang up on me in your videos? Here's here's the point against for this car. I drove last year a base base Carrera. It was like ninety five thousand bucks. Right. So it was like a full on like seventeen or eighteen grand fat, uh, cheaper than this car. And I gotta say, not that much different. Right. You know what I mean? Like. Yes, this has more grip, it has a little better suspension, it has more control, and obviously the better brakes, but if we're just talking about an experience, like, you can get really close to this with a base Carrera, but you won't have that, you won't have that wink-wink with the other enthusiasts, right? This is how... This is how Spike and I, sitting on the porch at Bill's, yes. know that you are an enthusiast because you've rolled... Uh, you can turn around somewhere safer. Because you've rolled up in a Carrera T instead of a yeah, regular Yeah, if, if I see you driving this car, I know you're one of us. Yeah. You like the special cars and not uh, the Cayenne, right? Yeah. That's that's who you are. What if it's a Cayenne Trans-Siberia? No. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? Because for me, Porsche is about lightness. And anything that is any lightness engineered, any actual lightness like this, I love it. Is I that why you're not direction. a big fan of the turbos and the all-wheel drive cars? Because they're heavier? You know I like those too. <laughs> <laughs> like those are just a different kind of driving. Yeah, I agree. But but I am a GT3 guy through and through. But I could easily be a Carrera T guy too. Yeah, yeah I, you I really would, like this car. Yeah, Carrera T is you with Saturday Night Live money, but without Seinfeld money. <laughs> that's, that's the right. difference. All yeah, right, and, so and without red. Yeah, and this red. Oh, color is whatever, right? I red is a little more me, but the chalk is great. We're gonna. Why don't you just park this up right next to your car, Spike? We're going to hop out of the Carrera T and hop into the GT3T, and Spike is going to show me what that what that GT3 touring life is all about. Stick around. Uh, all right, folks. This is uh, 2017 or 18? 18. 18. This is an 18 uh, GT3 Touring in chalk. I'm going to put your lift kit on as yep, you go we'll off nose this. nose lift, so we won't do it. I'm going to go into Sport with, there's the exhaust open. There oh. it is. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to turn ESC off, but leave, uh, oh no, you have to go to Sport Plus for that, right? Man, no. Fuck it, I'm not getting the traction control. Don't take Tell that Tell me off. why. <laughs> I, want, I, I don't want my car destroyed today, yeah, I'm man. not going to destroy your car. But street. you know what's nice? The rev the rev matcher in this car is like the rev matcher there. Yeah, it works. It yeah, works, works good. Right? I'm going to try it without and with. Um, so, with. why did you spec this touring the way you did? All right. Here's the theory on this car. It's all the new stuff you could get in 2018. When we look back at 2018, you're going to see in that year, you could get a manual gearbox GT3 with the Touring package, no uh -huh. wing, no wing, in the in the first year color of chalk. There it and is. Here is that in car. In the launch color. Is the nose right. up? Yeah. Yeah, the nose, nose is up. up. It'll go down automatically at about Great. 35, I think. 
So this is the four liter, 500 horsepower. 500 engine. horsepower compared to our T, which is about 386, right? Uh, 370. 370. And this is 500. 500, four and liter. it goes to 9,000 RPM. So you get uh, 1,600 extra RPM over the uh, the T, yes. and that sounds like. Wow, oh. I didn't even have enough room. That was no, only 7,500. <laughs> Where do you get it? got legs. You know, you will know. See, that's why I'm always in third gear because I'm yeah. in this car. Yeah. When you get up to that 9,000, it's just magical.
it's, it's surprising to me how different this car is than that 2015 car I had with the PDK. And well, besides being, uh, well, the engine feels obviously more lively, right? In this, it does. The car, the overall, the car just feels a lot this lighter has, uh, than this the This has four wheel steering, right? Yeah, it does. Let's. Uh, so does the 2015. I know. I want. I just want to see how's the turning radius. Can't make it. <laughs> Didn't think I could, but we're fine. Let's hope there's not a Ducati oh, no, coming around fine. the corner. We're fine. We're fine. Have you seen, how many other cars have you seen on this road since we've been here? One? No, seven. Or eight. In fact, that was hit a motorcycle. In fact, the guy almost hit us on the way here. <laughs> hey, we were almost hit by the guy in the pickup truck. That's a good point. Secret's out, man. This is the car, man. I yeah, mean, this it, car is amazing. It, what, what impresses me about the T after driving this is that you can get pretty close to this experience yeah, with that can. car. I mean, you absolutely can. It's not it's not an apples and oranges experience. It's an oranges and blood oranges experience. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the lightness, right? Yeah, the, the lightness. lightness is there. I'm not sure. That T feels so much lighter than this car, and no. I think this car feels so much lighter than the 2015 GT3, that first gen GT3. This car, they both feel light. You know where I feel? I think feel like this car has like less rolling weight, but mm -hmm. more something else. I'm not really sure what it is. It's hard to put my finger on it, but like, it, the real difference is the specialness of the four liter engine. That's really that and the, the thing. I think in the grip. And the grip. Yeah. The grip is there. What a spectacular car, man. Yeah. This is... We have to get the 911R and the GT3T out together, just so we can do them side by side. Yeah. The differences really aren't that big, but if we did it side by side in the same 30 minutes, you would you would feel it and hear it. The 911R yeah. is just a just a sliver better, <laughs> and it's got a, I, I like the exhaust note just a little tiny mo a bit more, but you can't go wrong with either car. And this is this a comparative is a, bargain this is with the 911R. Right, and the T is the bargain when compared to the other two. If you can't get to a GT3 Touring, jump into that 911T. I mean, other than not having the wing, what do I get? What is the what is the differences between a regular three and a Touring, other than a wing delete? You got a, a, a slower zero to sixty time. <laughs> do you like that? Why is that? <laughs> because the, PD, the PDKs can shift gears faster okay. than a human. Yeah, because it's stick versus PDK. Yeah, right? that's right. Wait, can you not get a stick with a non-touring? You uh, have to get a touring to get a stick? No, you can get a stick. Okay. And with, with a wing. With a wing. Okay. Which okay. would be a pretty fast car, but still the PDK is going to yeah, be huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what's the, sixth gear here? Hang on. Oh, so you're turning some revs. You're turning some revs in sixth. I can't, I don't, I can't unfortunately say what the speed is because we're speeding and right. I'd be admitting, but... <laughs> It's it's not as gnarly as that Sharkworks GT4 I drove, but you're turning some revs. How is this thing as a highway car? Have you done much highway in it? You know, I noticed how great it was this morning. I had, you know, just hopping on the 405 this morning. You know, it's scenery control. Right. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> you just dance around everybody. You can chill out in it and listen to Howard Stern. You know, that's what I love about GT3s. They're very usable cars. And for guys like me and you who want to be shifting gears, now you've really got everything. You can drive this car. I could. You yeah, could. I could daily all, this. All, daily it all week long. Right. 100%. I took a GT3 on vacation with my 8-year-old. We went away for the weekend. Me, him, and our dog in the back, and luggage. It was fantastic. Uh, in Germany, they put snow tires on these and drive in the winter. Yes. Yes. This thing is awesome. Yeah, this is a great Beautiful. Year. But you were right. I, I think I think in some in some corners. I'm not going to pretend I can in every corner. But in some corners, I can feel the slight unsteadiness at the rear. Yes. That a wing would would help with. Yes, it would. I felt a little bit of a, a GT4 lap at Road Atlanta with Hurley Haywood. Yeah. And when I was up here getting on it. But that's why you get the touring package, so you can have a little fun with the car. It's that, that's what the 911R is about. It's about fun. That, uh... By the way, I just downshifted right there yeah. from 6,000. <laughs> I was at 6,000 and I went, let me downshift now. That is what the GT3 is about, man. It's like rotary levels of revving. And there are a lot of Porsche guys who are saying it's not a GT3 if it doesn't have the wing. What I say to you is, there's a GT3 
on the back. That's stupid. It's a GT3. I don't know who said that, but that's <laughs> stupid and they're stupid. <laughs> they're, not, they're not. I like wings. Oh, man. I love this Eat car, it? man. I could absolutely be about... Where's the nose lift? Oh, there. Right there. You got it. There it is. Going up, sir. You need, I could 100%. By the way, you need that lift. You need that driving around the city, yeah. In the T, you don't. In the regular yeah, non-GT 911s, you don't. Spike Ferriston, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Thanks for Polly, letting man. me have a go in your car, what dude. a great morning. This car had. is so dope. Yeah. And the T is so dope, too. So car. that car at 105 grand with a couple little options. This car is 175 grand as uh, if, in the, to get a good one. The only two you really need are the ceramics and the lift. That's it. That's it. Cloth seats. Just get yeah, seats. Yeah. Keep it basic. Keep it basic. Uh, maybe a backup camera. I'm a fan of the backup camera. That's on, that's on it. That's maybe. standard now. Yeah, maybe. Wow. Uh, Spike's Car Radio, the podcast on Podcast One, right. iTunes, anywhere you download podcasts. And uh, thanks. I will see you all later.